Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this quick ACF tutorial, I'm going to show you a useful tip on how you can embed your iframes on your website correctly. So now I'm just jumping into the back end of that page and let me show you what's happening and why it's not rendering correctly and how you can fix that. So normally when you have an iframe in a text field like this with ACF, it's not going to render out correctly unless you do it a certain way. So as you can see, this is just a simple iframe of a Google map. Now let me go ahead on the page and show you how it doesn't work correctly. So if I go ahead and just remove this and let me put in what I normally would do is like a text editor inside Elementor, drop that in here. And then normally you would just click like dynamic tags, go to ACF, select your key and then choose the um, iframe that we have right there. So as you can see, it's not rendering out correctly. And if I go to the front end of this page, this is what's happening. So this is probably why you're here. So in order to fix this, what we need to do is actually use a short code that ACF is going to render out correctly. And let me just show you how easy it is to pull that off. The first thing we need to do is jump over into your ACF where you have your custom field and grab your name right here. So as you can see, um, mine is called Google underscore maps and they have this little button right here. You can just click that and it will copy it to your clipboard. And now what we can do is just go over into a page and create a short code and then that should render it out correctly. So let me go ahead and delete this text area. And I believe this is going to work across any platform you use, but in this case, I'm just using Elementor. So let me just drop in a short code. And then what you need to do is just paste it in like this. Very simple. So we have ACF field equals and then put inside quotes that custom uh, field that you just you know copy to your clipboard. So it's as simple as that. So as you can see within the browser right here, it's rendering out the iframe correctly. And then of course, if you've been working with iframes for a while, you know that you have to declare a height on these things in order for it to render out correctly. So in this case, I'm just going to go underneath custom CSS and just paste in um, selector iframe height equals 50 VH, just something like that. Um, and then let me hit update and let's just see if this renders out on the front end correctly. So now if we hit refresh, this should render out on the right size and everything looks like it's working correctly. And that's it for this quick tutorial. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.